Hey guys, this is a Luck rep set for a Ford Focus 2012 to 2018 dual clutch automatic transmission. I'll start by saying I am not sponsored by anybody here uh, for this video or at all. And I am a Ford tech specializing in transmissions, 11 years experience. And I just thought I would share my um, first impressions unboxing this and checking it out. I do have high expectations as luck is the OEM manufacturer for these clutches, but I don't know. I thought uh, I have not opened the box yet. I wanted to share my first impressions and let, in case you're curious, like I don't know if you maybe saw this online and uh, anyway, without further ado. <laughs> okay. start here with this box. I have never seen one of these luck kits in person, so I am curious. <laughs> Let's see what all comes with it here. For all I know, this could be a tremendous value, and uh, since it's an OEM manufacturer for the Ford clutches, I think this is going to be a good deal. It was like $600. And if you went and bought all this at the Ford dealer, you'd be looking at quite a bit more than that, so... Okay. Okay, I've got that bag open here. Here's your snap ring for the, uh... That holds the clutch in on that inner shaft there. It's definitely... It's good to see that in here. That's a one-time use snap ring. Set that over here. Here are... You don't even have to replace these, but they brought... They included them in the package here. This is for the uh, clutch actuators. It's good to have new bolts like that. All right. Here's the six clutch nuts. Um, they go uh, where the torque converter nuts would on a traditional automatic. It fastens down, it fastens the clutch down to the flex plate, the flywheel. So that's definitely a good thing to replace. You, you need to replace that every time. If, Alright, next we have the four bolts that hold the forks down to the transmission case. That's very, that's very good of them. <laughs> There's this constant tool noise in the background, I apologize. But yeah, um, those four bolts. Okay, I think they're done. And there's also the three bolts that fasten the clutch tower, these little ones, to the transmission case. Which I will show you the clutch tower in here, because I believe I saw it. This right here. That's what the uh, throwout bearing slides down on. By the way, guys, I do have a video on how to remove the transmission on this transmission on this car and uh, replace the clutch. So please subscribe if you want to watch that or watch more videos like this. Here is the uh, slave cylinder, the bearing that applies the clutch. I just turned the bearings by hand off camera here just to make sure they feel all right. Make sure they're popped down all the way. Here's the two Z washers. They're, uh, you know, they're brand new. They're, this isn't some bagged up used parts. This is a quality looking kit here. And this uh, lower retainer that my thumb's tapping is fully secured down. Those two tabs are not broken, which is good. So far, very impressed which is what I was expecting out of uh, a luck kit. Here's the A fork. It does appear. Yeah, that's OEM. Yeah, that's not aftermarket. I can just tell because of the writing and stuff on it and that little uh, tag thing there. I see that on OEMs and not aftermarkets. I do not see the B fork in this box. Maybe it's in another one. All right, get that out of the way. Yeah, there's the B fork. The pegs torn, but this is in good condition. Whatever that. Okay, that's just one of the things on the fork there. See, it goes right there. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's also OEM. Let's go ahead and just pull it out of here. Why not? <laughs> Yeah, or not. Yeah, the boot in there on the fork is in good condition. 
when you try to spray penetrating oil down in these, um, like if you're fork seizing, I've heard of people doing that, this uh, boot will rot and get a bunch of debris in there and cause it to stick even worse. Okay. So we should be down to the meat and potatoes now. By that I mean the clutch. Uh, it looks like the uh, studs for the clutch punctured through this plate here, this cardboard. So I'm going to do an inspection of that, make sure they're in good condition. And it, you can uh, take a clutch nut and run it down in here if you want, but uh, I mean, I'm not seeing any smudged up threads or anything. Here's the here's the uh, snap ring for the hub here. This comes out when you go to install the clutch. But uh, this snap ring here will be fine to pull off and reuse. Um, that's no problem. A little bit of rust in there. Um, they didn't put any desiccants in the clutch like I see on the OEM packaging. But yeah, this is 100% an OEM clutch right here. This is not aftermarket. This is uh, OEM. A little bit of surface rust here. Nothing that's going to hurt anything. Alright, get this packaging out of the way. Alright. I'm checking to make sure... Yep. See, see these right here? See how they're like pushed up on top of these ledges? That means the clutch is locked, which is good. You need the clutch to be reset or locked before you install it. And that's, I believe, the A clutch. Yeah, that's the A clutch. And the B clutch has little ridges that these tings pop down into. There's three sections of them. All right, they're all popped in there. And they're all popped in here. So good, this clutch is ready to go in. And yeah, I mean, I don't see any major rust at all or anything. It would have been nice for them to put a little desiccant in there and bag this thing up like they do on the factory clutches. Well, this is a factory clutch. It's just in the aftermarket box. <laughs> okay. Yeah, buy this kit. Buy it. It's a good deal. Includes everything you need to do. Everything you need to replace, I mean, to do a quality job fixing your transmission. And once again, I do have a video of how to remove the transmission and replace the clutch and what tools you'll need. And it's not as many as you'd think. So have a fantastic day. I hope this video helps. And please subscribe and have a good day. Good luck to you.